How's it going, boys? Today, we're playing God I Love Milf. Oh yes, it's a Risen Reef deck. We started off with a decent amount of Risen Reef. Then we escalated. Then we escalated a lot. And I thought that the escalation has been ended. But the violence can always escalate further. And today we have escalated it to probably the most max pinnacles of humanity that will ever be reachable. And thus, I bring you the Mirror March Risen Reef combo deck. Oh yes. Only two Mirror Marches, but only two Mirror Marches are needed. Anything other is complete overkill. So, four Shimmers of Possibility, four Bonds of Flourishing, one Guy's Blessing, three Mirror Images, four Gifts of Paradisio, four Risen Reefs, two Settled Hind Wreckage, four Drowned in Dreams, one Jace Wielder of Mysticism. Uh, well, Mystery. Mysticism also is fine. Uh, well, it actually makes Jace not look like a complete hack and lame-ass fuckwad. So, yeah, Mysticism it is. Uh, three Time Wipes, four Floods of Tears, two Mirror Marches, two Omniscience, and a bunch of lands. 23 to be specific. Okay, let's get it going and see what happens. So, this deck is pretty uh, pre insane if it pulls off the combo. But admittedly, we have a couple of problems. The biggest one being, it's soon gonna be the rotation, and because the internet exists, a lot mo most people are just playing complete, complete tryhard decks, so it's a little bit a lot less fun. Ah, uh, this is a decent hand. Admittedly, the enemy is an aggro deck, so yeah. Everything you're gonna be playing is probably gonna be a tier 1 billion deck. You know, the best rated, highest rated, highest win percentile decks in the game. Because everyone wants to get uh, to get that sweet, sweet, whatever the hell you call it thing. So yeah, a little bit annoying, but we're gonna try our best. Oh, he has not played anything. That seems like maybe this guy's a little bit a lot unlucky. Who knows, right? Okay, so we have a turn. We have six mana. We can do this. He's currently not playing. What the hell is this? Zombies? Insanity! What an absolute mad lad. Okay, the absolute mad lad boys is playing a zombies deck. That is not a tier 1 deck. That's like a tier 0 minus 5 billion deck. Jesus Christ. Ah, huh. at least that's a cool gimmick. Okay. Well, maybe it's a gimmick, but who cares, right? If he wants to play it, and I'm happy for him. You know, at least someone's happy for something, right? Okay, let's see what we find. Uh, we actually found absolutely dick all right, right here just now. So, Flood of Tears it is. Okay, Flood of Tears is gonna be good. <coughs> Equip that. Yes, makes sense. And he just continues to make that. But currently, we have a decent enough life pool. So, we don't exactly need to do too much here. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is definitely gonna be good. Actually, let's see. Wait, did I just... Yes, my mouse is, by the way, still a com complete fucky piece of shit. So there are gonna be a couple of problems with this. Ooh, he has Sorin-chan. That's cool. Okay, so Sorin-chan it is, I guess. You can easily re-helm things really fast, but it's gonna be substantially less damage. I'm actually substantially okay with this. So let's see, do we settle the wreckage now? We time wipe. We definitely do this for now. So he's gonna minus the sword and get this thing back in Helm of the Host something. And that's absolutely fine, because we're gonna settle Dine Wreckage upon that guy sooner or later. That's gonna be pretty good. Okay, yes, 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 enemy con. We know, we know, you're putting the Helm of the Host on that guy. It makes, it, it makes absolute sense. Okay, so, we got a Risen Reef. Do it like this. And still even have enough mana to cast things. Uh, that's not exactly what I was looking for, honestly. But good enough. And now I can just do this. Okay, that's three cards on the field. And if he does not kill us next turn, or he does not remove the Risen Reef, uh, we just flat out win next turn. That's essentially how easy it is. But it's a Risen Reef, so it's a very... Ooh, he's not killing it! Yeah, it'd be one. 
Feels good. We actually won. Okay. So, let me demonstrate to you how absolutely fundamentally stupid our Risen Reef deck has become. And by stupid, I mean obviously sublimely awesome. So, here's the first thing. Drop the Mirror of Horrors. Great. Uh, now we play Drown in Dreams to fetch two more Mirrors of Horrors. If we do not achieve that, we just do this. We have pretty much just uh, one already, but we're gonna go for a little bit of those pizzazz points I have uh, I have heard so much about. People say that it grows your penis in real life. I already have a ginormously huge schlong, but a, c a couple of more inches would, would never hurt, right? Ah, uh, this is pretty bad. Please don't give up before I start doing things. Well, anyway, let's start doing things. Let's see how many points do we get for this one. Okay, at least we got all the Risen Reefs. Oh, that's at least three. That's three procs. So, as you can see, just three of those bad boys in conjunction do this. And yes, I, I know exactly where I need to click and spam so, you know, things happen. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that that was not impressive, by the way. Just Just want to point that out. But in that case, we can drop one more and play one more Risen Reef. Oh yes. Oh yes. Life is gonna become pretty, pretty benign soon. Oh, 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 only two procs. A little bit disappointing, but hey, that's fine. Okay, so finding everything, blah, 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 cl clicking a lot. Okay, that was even more disappointing. Okay. And turn. Hey, the average reached maximum. Blah blah. No, I don't, dude, dude. Wait, they can still play it, right? Yes, I can still play it. Okay, let let's just let's just go for one more try, shall we? Okay, on its own, that's already a tremendously huge, uh, an absurd amount of stuff happening. But soon we're gonna flip like twenty uh, twenty coins up. Oh yeah, we just flipped twenty coins up. That makes so much sense. Okay, how many procs is that? 73! Now, again, I never claim to be a math expert, but I am a quantum physicist, by the way. But that's probably enough to win the game, you know? That's probably definitely enough to win the game. So let's just spam it in, uh, until our de deck ends. Yes. I was not lying when I said you can never have enough Risen Reef, and theoretically this deck gives us an infinity chance of getting infinity Risen Reefs. Oh yes. So, that's pretty impressive. Now only 61 counters left. You know, when I'm gonna make the self mill deck, this is gonna be the main attraction. The Mirror of Horrors style of Risen Reef. And as you can see, the game's already pretty much screwed at only 60 procs of Risen Reef because it has absolutely no idea why would anyone be such a mad lad and do this. Oh, and also there's one more proc of Mirror of Horrors. But thankfully that was only one. Which, which still ends up with... This many procs. Now, a sane person would obviously say that's enough but 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 boys we we we, we still haven't hit what i wanted to hit so there there we go okay so that's 16 warning please take different or the game will end in a draw okay boys that's completely fine different tag okay so, yeah, whatever. Resolve all. The game does not like this. The game does not 100% like this deck at all. Oh yeah, that that's enough. Oh yeah. That's definitely close to enough. So, as you can see, the game is tanking a lot. The game can hardly handle what the fuck is it supposed to do. And you know what's the best part? It's still, it's still not over, boys. 
it's never over. The ride literally never stops, if anyone is wondering. So yeah. This is gonna happen in the 250 deck because it's gonna be self mill. And there's one more proc of Mirrors of Horror to happen. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did not do anything. Well, let's just win. We, we still have time for a little bit more. Oh yes, that, that's an impressive amount of resin reefs and whatnot. Oh Jesus. Yeah, sometimes, some, sometimes to a certain degree we just outdo ourselves a lot. And this is one of those instances. This is one of those instances. Infinity risen reefs, boys. I kind of feel proud about myself a little bit just now. Also, considering every second deck I make is a self mill deck, and every second deck I ma make is a land destruction deck, and every second deck I make is a... Well, more land destruction decks. Or every second deck I make is a uh, mill deck, opponent mill deck. You know, I propose we rename mill to milf. Think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense, and I don't make a lot of sense most of the time, it's actually perfect. You see, no one understands why Mill is called Mill. It makes absolutely no sense, especially to the young age hipsters, because they're retarded for the most part. And I can say that because most of my audience is the same age as me, so we're, we're completely fine on that one. Okay, so... But hear me out, just just hear me out. This somewhere along the way will maybe make sense, or you know, maybe it won't. Probably it won't. But yeah, no one understands what is milling. Do you know what is milling? Milling is the act where you turn wheat into flour. That is what is called milling. No one knows that. I barely remember that, and you know, I should probably know that, right? So, why not we rename mill decks into milf decks? No one knows what milling is, but everyone knows what a milf is. Everyone has their favorite milf. Everyone loves milfs. Everyone knows milfs. Mil mil milfs are just absolutely the perfect thing you could you could do. Now I know it doesn't make exactly a lot of sense because milfs have absolutely nothing to do with the concept of reducing your enemy's cards to zero from a full stack. But it doesn't have to make sense as long as I am to a certain degree appeased by the outcome. Know what I'm saying? Also, this looks like a win because this is that type of deck, I think. Okay, now if we could just get a single land drop, that would be fantastic game. You know, not asking for a lot here. You know, just a single uh, piece of land drop. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Okay, now, uh, please give me one more land drop, because he's killing that. Well, it's not exactly a land drop, but it's as close as we're probably getting to it. Also, this damage is considerab uh, considerably insignificant. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do this in hopes that we hit lands. Two draws, one should be land, because we haven't seen a land in quite some time. Okay, absolutely nothing of that was even remotely valuable. Great stuff, game. Great stuff. So what am I getting rid of? Uh, probably the bond. And probably one time wipe. Okay. So. I wonder what his deck is. Currently he has not displayed... Well, I was gonna say currently he has done not done much, but I guess committing suicide is also pretty decent. Maybe he was missing a white land. I don't know. Hard to tell. But yeah, why would you ever use a kite sail, whatever the hell that card's name is, instead of a uh, prison warden? Don't really know what that card is called. It's the three costing blue white thing. Jailer, intimidator. I don't know. Ooh, Aragdo Savatar. You don't see that often because it sucks dick in game. Okay, and this is a very decent hand, but admittedly the enemy is going first. Oh yes, that's bad. Going first in magic is a s- uh, Okay, we probably lost. Okay, well we won one game, and we lost probably the second game. Good stuff. But yeah, 
You just saw how much the game absolutely tanked and could not understand what the hell is uh, what the hell is uh, is happening to to it. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, come on, game. All I need for Christmas is like one dumbass card, and you know that's pretty much it. Give me a land. You know, it's not even. Uh, great. Even if it gives me a land, I am. S oh, yeah. I am just dead. It seems like. This card, whoever the fuck thought that the... Whoever the fuck thought that Chandra's f uh, Spitfire needs to get plus 3 when, it, when, it, when something non-something deals damage is an absolute fucking moron. I know they kind of try to balance the fact that it's an aggro card and a 3 cost aggro card with no immediate effect is pretty shitty. But that's still not good enough to balance it. So yeah, good job whoever designed that card. You absolutely need to be fired because you clearly have absolutely no contemplation or understanding of anything you're doing with your life. So, but despite that rant, let's continue again at m Oh! Bye bye, Risen Reef. Bye bye. But actually, if he targets the guy's blessing, that's gonna be even more detrimental. Because you see, the guy's blessing is currently a singular copy. And if I do, and if he uh, Vraska's contempts my Jace, well, if he actually Vraska's contempts my Jace, I still lose. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, we actually lose so easily. Should have probably also not done that. Okay, is this gonna be one of those fabled? Oh my god, look at that! It's not a land land deck. Oh no, but yeah, if he gets rid of the Jace, we're not gonna have a way to win. But we're gonna obviously be capable of getting the draw happen because reasons. So, okay, he got rid of the mirror. Okay, we're finding probably a land. <laughs> oh, suck god dick! Oh right, that was my leg. I'm sorry. That's better. Oh, this is a great card. Oh, look at that. We're a lot behind. Suck! Come the fuck on! How hard it is to just give me a land. Man. I literally... Be, because of stuff like this, I literally don't understand how anyone can even remotely try and do something as dumb as call this a competitive game. You know, for, for two or three turns just now, I did absolutely nothing because I was capable of doing nothing but nothing. Yeah, good stuff. Also, pretty cute. Pretty cute using this card. It's actually a pretty decent card. But yeah. Okay, need to wipe this now, but we're still on the backbone of everything. Uh, Dures, yes, yes, of course. Dures are things. Why not? Wait, you got rid of Flood of... Th why, why do you get rid of Flood of Tears? It makes absolutely no sense. So, what's the point of getting... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of MacGuffins. Okay, Shimmer of Possibility and Drown in Dreams. I choose Drown in Dreams. I choose this. And I choose this. Because crying is pretty cool. All the hip kids do it. Now we do not need one more of those, and that's fine. So, hopefully he doesn't get rid of my settled the wreckage, which would be reasonable. But the chances that he has the fourth goddamn duress in hand, pretty minimal. I would at least like to think it's pretty minimal. And look at that amount of damage. Absolutely disgusting, disturbing, and, you know, everything. Okay. So what are the chances something good? Jesus Christ. He gonna kill himself at this rate? Okay, gonna get rid of the Shimmer of Possibility. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. Let's see. Settle down wreckage if I do do this. I don't have enough mana, blah blah blah. I think he wins. I think he wins because our hand was absolute fucking... <laughs> of course. It's an aggro deck, you know, even though it's an extremely rarely used mono black aggro deck, an aggro deck is an aggro deck nonetheless. And everyone who plays an aggro deck is obviously defective in some serious capacity. 
But also we have a problem because this is dealing a lot of damage to me currently. And I dislike that. Admittedly, we can heal for a lot. But this guy can most likely play something big now. Because a mono red deck will have something. Oh no! He plays a card. No, no. He plays two cards that will kill me next turn. Because he has now fucking mana for days. And if that's not enough, he has a Bontu. Who's gonna even give him... Well, anyway, a lot of damage. Okay, so what's the play now here? The play is extremely simple. We either draw removal or we die. Oh, look at that. We did not draw removal. Okay, so what's the second play? I don't know. Probably this. Okay. Great stuff, boys. Great stuff. So, oh, look at that. This is absolutely horrible. Losing to a mono black aggro deck is probably the worst thing that has happened to me since forever. Good shit, boys. Good shit. Uh, we drew absolutely not a single card that did, did, did anything at the start of the game. Forever. Oh, and that guy just escalated. Magic, everyone. It's a competitive game for competitive people. You know, people that don't rely literally every round they have ever won on luck. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was, that was not pretty. Not gonna lie, that last game was not pretty. Okay, so, but we did, we did get one game where we established an extremely decent amount of dominance. Where the, where the game decided that maybe it's time to crash, stutter, or, you know, do something in, in between or in the middle. Just because, why not? Okay, this seems almost reasonable because we have a Risen Reef. Opponent goes first, so obviously he has a 70% inherent advantage. Uh, it's a Tefari deck because no one else uh, no, no one else plays anything but Tefaris. If you drop this color combination at the start. And now he's gonna drop something black, most likely. Oh no, he doesn't. He does not do anything or drop search for a Skanta because reasons. Oh boys. Oh boys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is fine. And Shimmer of Possibility. Admittedly, we have a pretty decent amount of time now given to us because of these circumstances. But still, that decent amount of time does not make me feel better in any way about anything. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a Spirit deck! I need to pay the life now, shit. Ah, should have not done that, that was bad. But whatever. Okay, more Risen Reefs. Spirit decks are notoriously known for not having removal, so that's good. Well, sometimes they do, but I'm not gonna attack, so Settled Wreckage even goes out the, out the window as an opportunity. Okay, so currently, not exactly looking too bad. Obviously, you're playing at the Fari. Why not? Wait, wait, why are you playing at the Fari? Are you gonna exile my Risen Reef? Are you gonna minus 3 my Risen Reef? Minus 3 my Risen Reef seems like a bad idea. Actually, no, it doesn't. Well, it does seem like a bad idea to me because I don't care. But yeah, he's probably thinking minus 3 the Risen Reef, you know, stave off a little bit of aggro, have a nice day, blah, blah, blah. Also, you know what this means? Sail the Wreckage doesn't do anything any longer. That's great stuff. Absolutely sublime. Okay, so now it would be pretty good to draw a land from the Risen Reef. Okay, what the fuck is this? I have absolutely no clue what that is. Ah, uh, that's absolutely fine still. Okay. So, take action. That's actually good. We wanted that to happen. Good, 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 good. Okay, he can't minus this, he can't kill this. If only he exiles, but no one's enough mad mad laddening to do that. Oh, I need to start finding solutions for, uh, for, for you know, stuff. Because currently it's not looking pretty, because he's gonna do that all the time, non-stop, without questions. And, you know, HP is gonna become an issue pretty goddamn soon at this rate. Okay, so let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. 
Okay, uh, that's actually a solution to our problems, and that's a pretty decent card to just get on default. Okay, and do we want the Jace now, or do we want the Jace later? Yeah, it doesn't matter, honestly, when we get the Jace. So yeah, uh, let's hit the Tefari one time because reasons. Okay, and now let's get rid of uh, Island. Yeah, the Island does not seem too appeasing at this time being. Okay, so we have a chance to just Fumigate. I want to call this Fumigate because Fumigate was such a good card. Okay, so what's the play here? He still hasn't dropped the Fari, which I still believe he is running because, you know, either this is the worst Flyer Spirit slash Bird deck I have ever seen in my life, or this is an extremely unlucky Tefari deck. One of the two. One of the two, definitely. Okay. So let's see. Let us see. There's no way. Okay. Yeah, there's no way we couldn't really do too much. The only thing we can do is time bar. And hopefully, at the time where he does not uh, does not use this to exile a thing. Well, actually, if he does use that to exile a thing, it doesn't matter. Ooh, look at that. For the champion, he's only attacking with a singular spirit entity. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm very curious. Is this just the worst flyer deck I have ever seen? Oh! Hello there. Well, that was obviously a kind of a play that we expected to a degree, boys, but it's fine. Okay, so currently this allows us to do pretty much everything that we want, and we will be able to kill the Tefari if we flip enough coins, right? So, we're gonna see how this happens. Just gonna see how this happens. He's most likely gonna minus 3 the, uh, the mirror, mirror match also. There is a chance for that, let's see. Ah, and now he drops the Tefari. Are you gonna be a major cunt? And, you know, just, you know, minus, minus three, the mirror match. I'm gonna hover over. Oh, no, he does not. Haven't seen any counter spells also, so this is a favorable Vin Stefari deck, which makes absolute sense in my mind. Good stuff. He's not gonna attack with the spirit, so there you have it. Oh, yes. So the best thing would now be find a uh, Risen Reef. Or, uh, or uh, the duplicate morph or whatever the hell it's called. That would be absolutely the best. Also, one more, uh, one more land. A gift of Paradiso is actually on the uh, higher side of things. Okay, so we do this now, right? Makes absolutely perfect sense. And now we do this because it makes even more sense. Okay. And so, next turn, because of this, now we can just multiply Risen Reef to Infinity and beyond and see what happens. The question is, does he use any of his Tefaris to get rid of the Mirror March? If I do my math correctly, we still have enough mana to play the Mirror March and the Risen Reef anyway. So, that's pretty nice. That's a very peculiar Planeswalker to use, honestly. Is he just, does he just want to get the emblem that the islands draw cards? Seems kind of redundant considering he doesn't even have islands. Well, whatever. It's his choice. Okay. So, this game currently looks decent. If we, you know, uh, get enough Risen Reef marches happening now. Obviously, there is a chance. A pretty decent chance also at that. So... Six, nine. Okay, he's using the plus ones. And again, he does not have counter spells. At least I believe in, with my heart of hearts that he does not have counter spells. I could be wrong, but I am virtually never wrong because I cannot admit if I'm wrong ever. You know? So, let's see. He's pretty close to the emblem, so he probably feels good about himself. I'm very curious what the hell type of deck this is. It's probably a net deck because people again don't really think about original ideas on their own anymore. He has a counter spell. Really? Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, Risen Reef, please. A lot of luck. A lot of luck. Come on. Okay, that's actually extremely good. 
50 coins, 50 tosses, go for it. Zero. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Would probably play again. Okay, do not counterspell this one. I think he... Oh, no. He does not have counterspells, I think, maybe. Okay, amazing. 10 out of 10 would probably play again. Okay, 50 million coin flips now. We're gonna break the game. Well, we're not breaking the game just yet. A Gift of Paradisio. Honestly, not even mad. It's a pretty good card. Okay, that thing is also a pretty good card because it allows us to find... Okay, that's at least one. Yes, one. I never get the coin flip because it absolutely makes no sense in my mind how it works. The animation is just shit. Okay. Okay, so we have absolutely everything we need to set up the perfect, the perfect outcome next turn. And hopefully he cannot exactly stop it. That's at least the, co uh, the hope, kinda. Okay, dismiss. And now we can just play this. I wonder does he have anything to deal with this. But then, on the other hand, if he, even if he has... We do still have a uh, purely... Ooh, scary. Not really, but close enough. Okay. So, we still have a Omnipotence, we still have a Guy's Blessing, and we still have a Bond of Sexiness to happen. And we still have a lot of things that we can put back in the deck, so it's gonna be pretty relatively high chance of, you know, a good outcome. Okay, good, good, good. And that was a lot of things. Okay, he's relatively close to the... To the th oh, he's gonna probably minus my mirror much now? I'm not sure. Okay, he plays his first island now, which makes me actually a lot more confused than on average, but that's fine. Plus one. Not playing anything, friendo Kajendo. A spit. Yeah, he does not have counter spells. 100% he does not have counter spells. He's mixing in the Fadis and Spirits. Ooh! He's gonna copy at the Fadi. How, how, how horrible! Okay, at the bare minimum, this is pretty decent still. Okay. Yeah, this guy most likely never wins against us at this rate. Most likely, at least. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully we top deck something useful. We have a bunch of useful things, but you know, the question is, do we top deck them? Oh... That's a really good question, also. And this guy, I'm not saying anything bad, right? But this motherfucker is taking forever. Literally forever. Forever. Okay, so now we just drop this. Establish a lot of dominance. Mosquito. Wasn't just hitting myself at random. If he, if he counterspells this, I officially just... Nope, I don't. Not yet, at least. Okay. So now we can use this. Get back this, this. And absolutely this. Okay, that is definitely good enough. Right? Makes sense. Perfect sense. And we found, found the Shimmer of Possibility. Whatever. Yeah, we're definitely finding exactly what we need, to f we need to find, by the way. Makes perfect sense. Okay, that was absolutely fucking horrible, not gonna lie. Okay, now let's do this. Yeah, there's no reason to not do this, because we have time warps. Okay, so now we just drop this, and let's see what happens. Because it's gonna happen. We have essentially three resets for Drizzen Reef here with time uh, time wipes. So yeah, that's a thing. Got a land, that's fine, because this is gonna uh, flip 50 times in the correct order. At least most likely, zero. Ching ching boys. But that's okay, because we have time wipes, so let's just... Do it again, shall we? Oh yes! Please do not play your own time wipe. It's like extremely, it's extremely necessary that you know this happens. 
Maybe he's AFK. I'm not sure if he he does. He definitely does not have cleansing novice, by the way. Okay, so take action because more lands are being found. Fifty though, fifty in a row, boys. Ah, uh, that's two in a row. That's good enough, I guess. You know, that's still like six procs. Okay, so. I think he's AFK. Definitely seems like it. Got a land. Amazing. 10 out of 10 would probably get a land again. Uh, yes, Fl Flood of Tears is definitely useful. Uh, more lands. Let's see. Uh, Jace. Ah, uh, Jace is absolutely fine. Okay, got the Jace. Got the one more on science. That's pretty good. L let us just time wipe again. Okay, this is the original, right? Yes. Okay, get that back. You know, and essentially just try and try again, we shall. Okay, so, more lands, 10 out of 10, you know. And that's at least two flips, two flips, so six more draws. Gr good stuff, good stuff, great stuff. Okay, more floods of tears, more lands, which are not exactly useful. More Floods of Tears, more Risen Reefs, oh yes, that's finally what we wanted to see. Ah, yes, that's also what we wanted to see. Okay, now, let's finish him off, boys, let's finish him off. We, we, we found the second mirror match, so, absolutely splendid. And the Coup de Gracie comes now, boom! Ta da dun ta da dun ta da dun tan tan found a couple of frozen reefs. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh god, that's a lot of things. How many procs is that? A billion? A trillion? Forty-six. Not even that bad. Okay, it's time to start actively pressing the buttons. Yes, I already know, by the way, where I, where I need to press the button so I never have to look at the accept part, because it's really annoying. Okay. Slowly but certainly we're winning, and this guy is just observing the vintage. Or he's AFK, and God knows what's happening, but it's fine. Okay, and then we have one more mirror, of, uh, mirror match trigger. Technically, if we put four mirror marches in the deck, we would get more risen reefs. And that would absolutely destroy something. Oh, only one. Sad. But it's fine. Still a lot of procs. Boom, 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 boom. But at least we won the game. Which is fine. Okay, where's the Jace? Here's the Jace. Okay, so play the Jace. And just victory. Boom. Ah, uh, imagine what's gonna happen when we do the 250 card deck with this system. Well, actually, we're gonna have like 50 billion different systems because that's what I have learned to do in time. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, this was Quasar77. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.